What's going on guys? How y'all doing? It's your boy Kofi back with another video and before I get this video started smack that like button would greatly greatly appreciate it. Your boy just completed God of War on the PS4 moments ago and I'm gonna give you guys a quick review and a spoiler free review. Oh my god this game is absolutely fantastic. God of War 2018 was my most anticipated game this year and I must say it completely lived up to the hype I was a little bit spooked at the changes you know I was a little bit spooked but it really did turn out for the better this game is uh, is absolutely fantastic Corey Barlog and the people at Sony Santa Monica did a great job with this game so I played all the God of Wars before I played God of War 1 2 3 Chains of Olympus and Ghosts of Sparta also S Ascension which is arguably the worst one and i will say god of war on the ps4 trumps all of them this is the best god of war to date and i really really mean that the graphics in this game is mind blasting look i got a thousand dollar graphics card i game on pc as well right i got a 1080 ti and the graphics in this game rival top-notch pc graphics like top-notch this game is absolutely fantastic it looks absolutely fantastic i cannot stress enough how this game looks on the 4k hdr it's straight eye candy it's straight eye candy guys it's honestly beautiful the the textures on kratos the environments the vistas in this game the character models look so good i cannot stress how good this game looks you really got to see it for yourself you know videos really don't do it justice when you see this in motion on a 4k screen it looks fantastic and the score of this game oh the score is so good uh when you're during your boss fights the music that's playing so so fantastic so good and let's talk about the gameplay a little bit the gameplay all right so as you guys can tell uh, the gameplay is drastically different than previous entries. Uh, I really hate to make the comparison, but they really did take kind of the Dark Souls approach a little bit. You know, you don't got a stamina bar and, you know, you're not affected by weight or anything like that. But they really did. Like, if I'm comparing the controls to a game, it has to be Dark Souls because um, they moved the, the, the attack buttons to the triggers and the bumpers, the shield and stuff like that. And the game is more intimate, as I will say. It's more intimate and more personal with your enemies. They really did slow it down. You, you can't jump anymore, which isn't a bad thing. They, they slowed it down, and, you know, it's more calculated than any other God of War, you know? Especially if you're playing on the harder difficulties. I played on the second hardest difficulty, and you really gotta think, and you really gotta be super, super calculated. You can't just mash your mash away and expect to uh, proceed uh, and for things to go well. Um, there's so much customization in this game, from Kratos himself by changing his armor, adding enhancements to his armor, the Leviathan, his new weapon. Oh man, I love the Leviathan. I honestly spent hours, at least an hour, at least an hour. Throwing the Leviathan, watching it fall somewhere, and just calling it back. That feature is fantastic, and I'm loving his new weapon in this game. He also has other uh, another weapon that he, you get later on in the game, which I will not spoil. Um, but the combat in this game is top tier. It's super fun, and the dynamic between you and Atreus um, in the ga gameplay-wise is really, really good. You can upgrade Atreus. Um, to the point that he's super, super helpful. Helpful Grabbing enemies, you know, while you're doing a combo, he might jump off your back, shoot an arrow. It's so dynamic. It's so, so dope. Um, so I'm really, really loving the gameplay. This game is open world, semi-open world. It's, it's more like a Metroidvania style open world. Like early on in the game, there's a whole bunch of doors you cannot open because you don't have the power to open or some pathways you can't cross because you don't have the ability to cross. But throughout the story, you gain these abilities so you can explore later in the end game or just come back to these spots later, which is super, super dope. This God of War has side quests you can do and they're actually really, really 
fun. I'm just loving the direction and the RPG elements they really added to this game. It, it was a change that was needed for this franchise, honestly. And I'm really excited for the next God of War that's coming out. Um... Okay, let me touch up on the story just a little bit, you know, without giving anything away or ain't the plot away or, or anything like that. What I will say is the dynamic between Kratos and Atreus is fantastic. We get to see a side of Kratos that we have never seen before. You know what I mean? You know, people in the past said that Kratos is so one dimensional. You know, he's just an angry guy. <laughs> In this game, there's so much layers to the character, it's really good. And the character development is fantastic throughout the story. I really, really enjoyed it. And that's my quick thoughts of God of War on the PS4. It's a must play, guys. I can't stress how I can't stress enough how good this game is and needs to be supported. Uh, we're in the era where uh, we got executives from other companies kind of shitting on single player games. And I'm really glad a game like this exists in today's climate where everything's a freaking battle royale now or always online. This game really needs to be supported and I hope we get more story driven games like this. I'm looking forward to the next God of War. Big shout out to Corey Barlog and the team, um, Sony Santa Monica team, y'all did a fantastic job with God of War. Hit that like button, it's your boy Kofi and I'm out. Check you guys out later.